allow the police to come on up and deal with the situation because she already tested my nerves. I'm mad because I wash my clothes and they're everywhere in the damn laundry room. I'm mad because here this bitch sitting there acting like she don't know what happened when she just got through screaming at the kids about what just happened. So she calls her little family up, her brother, which every ratchet females call their brother up. I don't get that shit. Then she calls her damn friend. Now once again, I love big girls, but some shit that big girls should never do. Her friend is a funny bill big girl too. She comes out all of a sudden, out of nowhere, eating a damn McDonald's chicken burrito wrap. She was like, uh-uh, girl, nah, let me get it. Let me get it in fact, he ain't shit. He ain't nobody. He ain't nobody. Look at his ass. He all fucked up. Tell me, did he just come between this conversation and brought a chicken burrito while you're talking and eating the same damn time? You ratchet. So then she get all, as she would say, I'm turned up. I'm turned up. She grabbed the funny built motherfucker. Let me tell you what her friend wore, first of all. Ladies, quit wearing jeans that you don't know how to fit. It's bad for you. She wore some tight ass jeans. Her fucking pink shirt was all tight and shit. Had some of her rolls hanging off. She like a busted ass Jigglypuff from Pokemon. Anyway, back to the story. She couldn't put her hands on me, so she grabbed her friend's chicken burrito and threw it at me. Now I don't like nobody putting their hands on me. Man, woman, whatever. When she threw that shit at me like I was a bitch on the street, I thought about the three Browns that I knew in my life. Chris Brown, James Brown, and Bobby Brown. I wanted to snap that bitch wall to wall. I was gonna break my good foot off in her ass. And I wouldn't have gave a shit because why? It's my prerogative. I mean, really ladies, what gets you so far to think because you're a woman, you can put your hands on a man or disrespect a man whenever you want to just because you're a female? As soon as the police came, she started wilding off. Oh, he threatened me. He said he was gonna do this. He said he was gonna do that. He said he was from the streets. And he tried to put his hands on me. He started banging on my door like you was one of the police. He was all aggressive on my door banging and everything. But see, one thing about ratchet bitches, they don't understand. They fuck up all the time. Even when they're so angry, their lives don't stay together. So they sit there telling the cops, Oh, and what type of man sits outside of his window and watches his kids? That would be a very creepy person. But if you heard what I said, I heard kids playing roughly inside the laundry room. That bitch ratchet. What made my day was that the cops took me along the side and told me to come here. I understand this is a white policeman in Cincinnati. He simply said, Now look here, buddy. Now you know good and damn well there's some ratchet bitches. Did you just call him a ratchet bitch? I ain't never said too much cool stuff about policemen, but I fucks with this one, man. He's hot. He cool. Now, this is what you gotta do, buddy. Y'all know them ratchet bitches don't want to listen to nothing. Y'all know, since before I even came here, they started wilding out and all crazy and everything. I ain't even asking no question. But she messed up because if you were so aggressive as she won't so called proclaim it, then why the hell did she open up her door? And on top of that, you already know how it is out here, buddy. Every time a man gets in a conflict with one of these ratchet bitches, it always act like that he's the one. But I've never seen a man so cool as you, because you keep your cool pretty cool, and I like that. That's what I'm going to do about it. But this is what I'm going to do for you, buddy. They're going to pay for your damn clothes. That's all I wanted. I wanted a couple of cords to pay for my shit. I mean, if she was honest in the beginning, if she was honest and said, yeah, okay, I know my kids messed up your stuff. All right, here's a couple of cords. Instead of sitting there acting like nothing happened, and then I admit I spazzed off because, hey, that was my shit. Nobody expected that shit to get fucked up when they washing. 